Hi loves, it's Elle. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here with me today. We're going to be talking all about how to touch your makeup up before either you have to go out for the night or it's midday, but how I recommend uh, you touch up your makeup and as well as how I touch up all of my clients when they need to be. So if you want to know more about that, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. So it, my makeup has been on for a long time right now. If you can see, which I don't know if this picks up on the camera or not, but I have my makeup starting to break up here. It's off my nose. My nose is pretty red. You can see dots in my pores. My under eyes need a little bit of help and I'm pretty, pretty shiny. So I need a little bit of a tune up. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take my tissue. I'm going to break it up into one ply instead of two ply. I'm going to press this along my face and just like this and soak up any excess oil, okay? So get all that oil off. Like, I mean, it's breaking up all over the place here. Now, what I like to do though, is I like to spray my face with a rehydrating spray. Don't spray it too much over your eyes because then you have to do all of your own, your ma mascara and stuff again. Take your other tissue and blot that off. And usually for me, when I need to be touched up or my clients need to be touched up, it's not really around here. It's more in the center of the face and under the eyes, okay? So what I first do is I take in my eye cream. So this is just to touch your eye cream. Take your favorite, pick your favorite. Like look at even right here, I'm a mess right now. So I'm just going to spread this over. Try to not touch your blush and highlighter and things like that too, too much. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just going to tap this eye cream in and start to rehydrate this under eye area. You will be amazed how much this helps your under eyes come back to life midday if you add a little bit of eye cream on top and I'm gonna pat just gently and it's going to be kind of gently removing the concealer or at least the kind of drier parts. I do it a little bit on my nose as well. And it just adds hydration back into that area. Now what I'll do is I will take my concealer, I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury concealer, because usually when I touch up, if I've used a heavier concealer that day, I will use a lighter weight concealer, one that's more hydrating, and then tap that out like you normally would. Because you already have, I mean, yes, the eye cream has taken that powder kind of down, but now you won't have to, hopefully, well, at least I don't, and a lot of my clients I don't, have to um, reapply powder there. You just don't need to. Um, and I will apply a little bit concealer down my nose as well. Because who wants to bring a whole bottle of foundation with them? And using a damp beauty blender will add that hydration back into the skin where you have lost it. And then I do go around my mouth. And when you do this, look how much better and more refreshed it already looks. And I'm just tapping this around the hairline. And if you can see my hairline right here, it's starting to break up. So what I'll do is I'll hit my sponge with my rehydrating spray and I actually will pull it. Okay, I'll actually pull it a little bit and you can see my foundation's coming off. Don't freak out. Okay. And I will try to remove any lines of demarcation. So it just kind of feathers off. Now you can either take your concealer or if your foundation is small enough, you can bring that with you as well. You don't really need to put moisturizer underneath. I mean, we're just touching up here. We're not looking for perfection. And this should not take you very long. All right, so there we go. The forehead has been repaired. Okay. I will, though, because I travel with mine, I will take my hourglass powder on my damp sponge and just kind of tap in a little bit of powder on the forehead because this powder <laughs> does give an illumination and it kind of reflects any flaws that might be there. You know I travel with either my hourglass or this palette I got from Target is amazing. 
and I'll just take, the, this comes with a little brush, it's not really great, but take it in the lightest shade. I'll link everything below. But I like to travel with a little bit of contour. Go right over. You know, we're restoring what we did earlier that morning. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit of the blush and you go right over that line of demarcation where you've removed your under eye concealer and reapplied it. Go in circular motions, go in circular motions like this and go over that line of demarcation. See, now look it. No one would be the wiser that you just basically redid your whole makeup. Now, if you really need to set your under eyes, go for it. I just don't, and, but I will kind of throughout the day just gently take my hands and just tap a little bit in case you do get some creasing. I mean, you guys, the under eye area is a mobile part of our body and it's going to move. So you can't be assured that anything you'll do doesn't create creasing. Um, it's about trying to do your best and deal with what you got. All right. And I did want to say, though, make sure that you bring that concealer around your nose, too, if you have any red drops or red redness around the nose. That's why I like a concealer like this. There's so many out there. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I mean, it's not about the products here, guys, but this is a lightweight, thin concealer that I already know I don't have to set if I don't want to. And the glow is back. And then, of course, I usually will just, you know, retouch up my lips. I don't even line when I'm trying to touch up, unless you want to. And literally, that is as quick as I do if I'm touching up and I'm in a bathroom somewhere. I mean, yes, ideally it would be fantastic to be able to wash it all off or just at least take a wipe and wash off the base part of the face. And I have been known to do that with my clients on the red carpet. Like I'll keep their eyes and their brows on, but I'll take my cellular water and remove all of that. But for the most part, most everyday people and a lot of times most celebrities that I've worked on don't really have a ton of time to redo all the complexion because then if you're going to take it all off then you need to reapply sun you know sunscreen and skincare and all of that stuff so honestly the skin looks revived it looks natural again my under eyes don't look dry anymore the forehead looks really good again and it's really all about really finding and fine-tuning the products that you know that work for you my holy grails for this type of technique is the hourglass powders or something similar that has a little bit of shift to it a all-in-one palette and making sure that you have an eye cream and that's really going to help because you can really use your eye cream all over the face if you really wanted to, um, especially one that's a little bit thinner like this or the Biosense or whatever your favorite one is. So I hope that this helps you navigate touching up in the middle of the day. If you want to, though, if you get really, really oily, there is a small, which I obviously you know how I feel about setting sprays with alcohol, but there is a small bottle by Urban Decay um, that is a mattifying spray if you want to use that as well but that's just more for more oily combination skin. So I hope that this helps you. I mean, it's super quick. It can't take a long time. And that was all in real time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.